Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, we've got thunderstorms once again popping up across the country. Both islands have a high risk of thunder across Wednesday and Thursday and to be honest with you, even Friday. And then the risk tends to go more into the North Island in, as we go into Saturday with Sunday not being quite so risky. So they are still around. This is the Wednesday forecast. Uh, someone actually wrote on our Facebook page yesterday, they called us an idiot because they didn't get thunder in Wellington. We're not forecasting thunder in Wellington, we're forecasting thunderstorms to pop up around the mountains and ranges. Now some of these thunderstorms could be very close to some of the big cities. We've seen some spectacular photos coming up from the Kapiti Coast near Wellington. We've seen some great photos around Manawatu and even around Lake Taupo where there were thunderstorms yesterday. So the risk is there, the risk in red, but even these areas with dark green, that's where the heavier downpours are possible. But these words like risk and chance and possible, you need to be aware of that. It's not just us saying everybody has this, it's the risk zone is high and there's a great, you know, very good chance of thunder uh, in the next couple of days, but most of it will be inland. But there is a point in the afternoon when they do tend to break away a little bit from where they formed and they often drift in one direction or the other. One of the, the breezes from the east coast or the west coast will win out and push it. And so that's when there is a risk of these thunderstorms moving and tracking into a, a city. But you really do have to use your eyes, look out the window and, and your ears as well if you hear thunder you go indoors. So this is how Wednesday is looking, as you can see the risk is there. But this is the wind map, and look, again, we've got these winds converging. Easterlies on the east coast, westerlies on the west coast, that produces these big downpours across the inland areas. So the fringes around the outer edges can be completely dry and sunny. So that's where a lot of the main cities and centres are. So this is the wind map this afternoon. You can see again, most of the North Island's downpours are around Central Plateau, but the risk goes further north. And that is actually the trend for the next couple of days. The thunderstorm risk and the downpour risk heads further north. This is Thursday's setup. So look at the North Island now. While it's not a high risk for thunder, there is a chance of it, perhaps on the lower end, but there's still a risk for the north here, around Auckland and up and towards Northland. Certainly a chance inland that we'll see a couple of thunderstorms around the mountains and ranges of uh, Northland and also down here around the central plateau. The risk looks highest in that area and perhaps a little slight sort of northern shift rather than a southern shift. In the South Island, you've still got the downpours, the risks are all still there, but again, Southland and perhaps even central Otago this time, not such a high risk. Risk. But there is a chance of downpours on Friday, so that's some good news for farmers in Southland who want some rain. There's a downpour chance there, a thunderstorm risk as well to some degree, it'll be isolated, and that isolated thunderstorm risk again goes all the way up into Waikato. Then we get into the weekend, and it changes in the South Island. You've got a westerly breeze coming back, that's the end of the big downpours, the big thunderstorms, things improve there. But in the North Island, you've still got that risk, but it is shrinking. So there might be some risks around Waikato and Central Plateau, maybe the, the, the ranges around Kaimais, Mamakus, those areas, but the risks are easing a little bit, and maybe also a chance around Northland. All other areas will just see big cloud buildups. And on Sunday, wow, the downpours have mostly disappeared. There will still be a few around the uh, central North Island, but they should have eased now in the south where you might actually have a bit of drizzly light rain, which will be welcome because it's been incredibly dry in our supposedly wettest part of the country. And then we get to next week, and this is how it looks. We've still got this big high with us, the same area of high pressure. This is the high that we've got this week. It's drifting away, but there's a secondary centre forming, holding things in place. No real change next week. But Australia's got a lot of rain. That might be coming to New Zealand in the second week of December, but it's still a very long way out. So there we go. Whew, lots to talk about. Have a good day. Enjoy the thunder if you get it where you live. And don't forget the risks continue right through till Saturday. And even next week, we might even see a few more bubbling up here and there under this big area of high pressure. We'll catch you again on Thursday.